Hey guys, Devin here, Lifetime Preparedness. Um, about to go into work, but um, I'm going to talk to you real quick about um, Andrew Cuomo. So, um, why has the media suddenly flipped on him? It's pretty clear to me. He took all the credit for, you know, all the things that he did, you know, through the whole nursing home, uh, through, through the whole pandemic thing, you know, with the nursing homes, uh, with, the, um, you know, closing down schools, with locking the state down, all these restrictions. He took credit for it, wrote a book, got a, a, a an award of some sort. Um, first off, that's ridiculous, but, um, he did, he did all this. He took all the credit. Um, he took the credit and now, people realize what he did with the nursing homes they flipped on him and now and then he started singing he started saying oh wait but no i was told to do this so he kind of screwed himself by not saying from the get that he was told to do this by the uh democratic powers in this country by you know the united nations um by um, you know, different organizations, he was told to do this, and once he starts singing, and saying, hey, I was told to do this, <clears throat> um, that's when the sexual assault allegations, um, or the sexual allegations, or whatever they are, that's when they start coming out, they come out of the woodwork, they're, it's all timed, guys, it's all timed, because he started saying, oh, but wait, I wasn't told, and see, they're trying to distract from the fact that he killed 16,000 old people when the simple fact is they would not have all died if he didn't make a law or an order an executive order whatever it was saying that nursing homes had to take sick covid patients when the hospitals were not overrun <clears throat> i'm calling it within a year he's going to be indicted he will in my opinion um, I think that's when it's going to happen, and this is just going to serve as a, um, you know, just a, hey, we got you kind of thing to all the other Democratic governors. Hey, you go against us, to the powers that be, this is what's going to happen. All the other Democratic leaders, they're, this is basically, this is this is going to be, uh, you know, a sh they're going to put on a show to, to scare these other uh, Democratic leaders um, who are not really in control of their own areas in their own state cities they're not they they you know they they are um in a, on a smaller scale but they all have to report back to the uh you know the big power up there the um the leaders of the democratic party the leaders behind the scenes that we don't see um and and that's kind of the whole thing that's going on with with Andrew Cuomo. So they kind of just all flipped to try to get the story away from sixteen thousand dead people. They they don't want the story on that. Now this video may very well get taken down, but I felt the need to share this with you guys. Um, it all seems very very clear to me um, what's happening. They all they they flipped. They fl he tried to flip on them. They flipped on him. They timed these allegations. Now, I'm not saying these women didn't... It didn't happen to these women. I would assume it probably did. Um, I, I just think that these women didn't want to come out. Or they weren't coming out. Or they were being suppressed for some reason. By these... Uh, uh, let's say the people above Cuomo. And um, I think they were being suppressed by the party. And... Um, or they didn't want to come forward, and when it was time, they went and had them come forward, or, you know, they, um, stopped suppressing them, and, and that's, that's kind of what I think happened with this whole situation, and that is why the media and the Democratic Party has flipped completely on Andrew Cuomo. He went from being the golden boy of the, um, whole entire COVID thing, to being the um, worst guy in the world. So, that pretty much sums it up. But, um, yeah, guys, that's that's kind of what happened. I just want to share that with you. Um, because I feel like it's very important to know these things. Um, you know, clearly do your own research. But, um, you know, I, I that's that's really what I believe. That seems like the, it's, it's so clear right in front of me. I see it. That's what I know that happened. Um, 
So, yeah, guys, if you want to show support for the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. That way we can get the message of preparedness out there. That is the most important thing you can do is share preparedness videos, share my videos, share other videos. That way we can get more people into preparedness. The more people prepared, the better. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Um, hit the like button. Hit the bell. YouTube will notify you when the videos go up. Possibly. We'll see what they do. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later and have a good day.